Let's talk about the most overpowered heroes here in T3 Arena, starting off with our very first hero, and in my opinion, the top of the list, but it is your boy, Hunter. I don't care what anyone says, I don't care what anyone tells me, this guy right here is the most overpowered hero here in T3 Arena, and he's going to top out our list. Now, the crazy part is he only, like the main, oh, hold on. Let me get out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The beginning of free for all is always the tough part, bro. First game of the day. Let me get this heal and we'll start talking, bro. But the crazy part about Hunter is the fact that his biggest strength just comes from his gun. He's a character that gets carried by his weapon. And this weapon is very strong. And then on top of that, he's got three grenades, which can be used for revealing enemies. So you can figure out exactly where they're coming from. And then you just go crazy and hammer away. So... His gun is strong. He's got amazing utility. And this ultimate is actually pretty good for peeling targets off of him. He's so good against the healer meta that's going to be coming up here shortly. Especially with the tanks and the chemist buff that's coming up. The iris that everybody loves to play. You can shred through tanks. Anyone really. Just super, super easily. So we're going to lock in here now. And just start going crazy. They think that they're even competing with us. And another thing that I like a lot about Hunter... Is because his weapon is so strong in a game mode like free for all, there's gonna be a lot of fights where you just look over and people are weak, right? So you'll get the final shots in every single time and get the kill because of that. Like, it's so hard to. I'll be honest, I don't like playing against hunters in free for all, bro. It's so hard to get any value against them. Like, look at. <laughs> like, <laughs> sit down, dog. What do you mean? No, I missed. I tried to flick my ultimate onto her head. That was close. That was close. That was close. That's going to be their best bet. You know, these SMG heroes try to get close, try to finesse. But if you're actually good at the game, bro, and you hit them with that ultimate, as they come in on the flank, you push them right back. And now they're out of range. So. <laughs> Not many heroes in this game can actually make... Not many heroes in this game can actually kill a scatty while she's ulting. It's always the chemist. Every single time I come up here, it's just the chemist flying up to the top, bro. She has... That's her first kill of the game. Get me out, dog. She's been close to killing me like three times. Every time I go up top. I gotta stop going up top. No cap. As I go up top. What? I thought she was there. Oh, no. I'm on that good kush, bro. What am I doing? This is gonna hurt. No! <laughs> it's always the ultimate! What am I like? Come on, bro. Game's almost over, though. Two more kills here. Or the fat lady can even... Oh, I'm trolling. Where are you? You're so weird. Okay. Getting a kill stolen by Scatty. That's no shame in that. This is gonna hurt. We're not going to talk about my ultimate aim this game. So the second hero on my most overpowered heroes list here in T3 Arena is actually going to be my favorite hero in the game and should come as no surprise to most of you guys, but it is the main man, Osas. Now, he does take a little bit more skill to play than somebody like a hunter per se, but at the same time, the reason why I just love Osas so much is all of the meta heroes like the hunter, the Sindri, the Judix, I mean, anybody in the game, you name it, they do a lot of damage, so most heroes can't kill them straight out. But Osas, man, one shot to the dome ski, and even a tank like Ruby is going down. You know what I mean? Oh, if she didn't have that no damage thing, I had her on the headshot there. Let's try to work our way down over here now. Oh, I'm dead. I live. I live. Quadruple kill. 
Like, one shot to the head, bro. Like, come on, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you have a character that can one shot anybody in the... Uh, not anybody, but majority of the heroes in the game. The only thing you have to be careful is if you have a bad game as an Osas, you have a bad game as an Osas. And it's going to feel like your teammates are running a 2v3 because you're nowhere to be found. That's the only thing you have to be very careful about. And he is hard to play by those shots. But he has utility with the smoke. I don't know how that didn't hit. He has utility with the smoke. He can cover areas, cover angles. He can get kills with that. He can sort of self-peel at the same time, which is kind of nice. You know what I mean? Like, overall, I just nothing bad to say about Osas, except for him being a little bit more difficult to play. And even the most, you know, Ruby, one of the tanks in the game. I know she's more of an off tank, but you can one-shot her. You know what I mean? And I'm actually having, like, the best Osas game in the world right now. Oh, my gosh. Going crazy. You can one-shot that little weak shield. Oh, no. I'm dead. They took all the ultimates. It took all the focus. <laughs> it took three ultimates to kill me, dog. <laughs> three ultimates. A Sindri ball. Oh, my. That's so funny. Okay. Either way, that we go up top now. This is where Osas gets annoying. And I didn't even get started talking about his abilities, bro. This man. This man's teleporter is one of the strongest. If you know how to utilize it. Oh my gosh. Could have hit the shot. Please. One of the strongest ultimates in the game. In the most competitive game mode, which is the payload. In the payload escort. Because it really just changes the pace. It puts you in areas. Where you would just be able to... Let me change something up here. On this map, this is what I like to do with the teleporter. Don't hide. Let me show you guys a little, little something. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I go, oh, I got killed by Ruby's ultimate anyways. I was like, fair play to the Christina shooting into the smoke. Let me show you guys what I like to do here, though. Hopefully this doesn't cost us the game. Looking at me, bro. What? Anyways, peep this. Oh no way! Did they get my other one? Oh. I like to go back and forth from up top because a lot of people are trying to usually, you know, all it takes for them to figure out is just one time, which is fine though, because you only need it to work once. Oh yeah, that's GG's. Oh yeah, that's GG's, baby! Now we're gonna go on to our third most overpowered hero in the game, and it's actually going to be Jabali. And Jabali is just my favorite tank in the game. He's actually my second favorite hero overall. And when it comes to playing competitively or like in ranked, my actual role in these hero-based shooters or mobile style games are usually going to be the tank. And Jabali does a fantastic job of that. Now, the unfortunate thing here in this matchup is we are going up against the sweatiest comp. And this is the comp that I think is actually going to take over in the next season with the Jabali, Chemist, and Gloria. Because the Chemist and Jabali combo, they just never die running around as a duo. And Gloria is debatably one of the strongest heroes in the game. Now, the thing with Jabali, just lots of health, lots of shield, lots of... Uh, his second, his second ultimate, I feel like, is, is superior to his first ultimate. But either way, the first ultimate is still pretty good as well. And your whole... He just running out into the open. So we're going to be in so much trouble in this game. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, we're, we're... I don't know what to say, bro. The, uh, the chemist, bro. I don't know. I'm just going to get in here. I'm supposed to just get in, bro. If my hunter goes crazy, my hunter goes crazy. So the good news... Let me bring you guys the good news, right? So in this matchup, while their team comp is very strong, we have two very high damaging heroes on our team. That's not going to kill me, and I can throw out my ultimate now. That's what I'm talking about, baby. She's going to ignore me now. I just run and just sit on her head the entire time. That's the key. Can I? I can't. Okay. So that actually ultimate works from behind. I've never tried that before. Grab the full heal. So the double DPS versus healer and versus healer and like proper team comp. It's interesting because I think I was playing with my three stack yesterday, and I think we what we decided was double DPS is actually better than the healer. 
but I don't know. Right now, they're getting rolled. Like, my team's actually good, so I'm very happy about that. I thought we were going to be in big trouble going up against the healer and having them having, like, the go-to team comp. But with a crack team, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just sit here and be annoying, to be honest. I could just sit on their payload by this time. Oh, yeah, my, my hunters cracked. My old sauces, yeah, they're cooked. Ha, ha, ha. GG's, I gonna lie. My team is nuts. Nah, Osas is sniping Gloria dead there. <laughs> no way, I just ran into the best randoms that I've ever played with in this game. Oh my, hey, GG's, homies. Y'all are actually good, dude. That was a brilliant game right there. Shut down. On to the next hero in our overpowered hero list is going to be the Gloria. Everybody knows about this hero. They know about how strong her assault rifle is. And then on top of all of that, she actually has a swap weapon that you can use in the close quarters with your shotgun. Now, the unfortunate thing about this matchup, we are actually playing on one of the longest range maps in the game with some of the longest lanes and going up against double sniper. But nonetheless, you know, her assault rifle is strong. So if they don't one shot me, you best believe we're going to be trading out and getting these kills, but I just don't expect them to come down from the top there, man. They're just literally going to play top the entire time. Per usual. So annoying. Uh, this map. This map. <clears throat> no way I mistossed it. I'm throwing... I try to get a nice little ricochet playoff and like bounce it off the top of the wall so that I can kill the walling when I misplayed it. So yeah. Sit up there with your arrows, bro. Yep, use the left hand peek so that they can show their face to get to this walling. No way I shot that one bullet. It's all good. Could have played that better, but it's all good. Can I get around here to their snipers? You have level 10, so you just know I'm coming. Nice. But you don't. <laughs> Y'all are getting 7-0 because you're sitting up top, bro. Get out of the top of the map. You feel me? Like, what are we... Obviously, this is how they're supposed to play with that team comp, so I can't even necessarily be mad at that. It's just like, this map, man. Y'all are getting actually destroyed. <laughs> yeah, 10-0, bro. And they got the snipes. They're just not hitting them. I don't think, I mean, I was about to say, I don't think Walling's on the kill, obviously. 10-0, but... No, he gave up a kill. Total domination, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Got you this time. Got you this time, Walling. I'm gonna just keep eagle. If you one shot me, you one shot me. But if you miss your shot, I win the fight. It's that simple. Nice ultimate Keck W, bro. Oh, she's running back to the team. There it is. Oh no, I accidentally <laughs> my toe. I'm trolling. No. Okay, we're back. We're back. I hit my thing too hard. GG's. <laughs> it's 20 to 3. No way. 
And now, interestingly enough, we are going to be finishing off this video here with the Aletta. Now, hear me out. I know in my previous video, I said that SMG heroes are falling out of the meta. A lot of Aletta is falling out of the meta. You're not going to see her get played a lot, which these are all very true statements. But don't get me wrong. On top of that, I know which even adds worse to the list is the fact that Aletta is one of the harder heroes to play and really maximize. You have to be positioning well. You have to be smart. You have to be able to utilize the ultimates to perfection. It's just all these things make Aletta very difficult to play. But a good Aletta, my goodness, a good Aletta is so annoying for people to deal with. Just because there's so many things that she can do. There's so much, so much value that she can find. Just by being an obnoxious little... Just by flying all around the map, man. Just being annoying, so hard to hit. Now, her, ho her hollow burst ultimate... It all depends on which one you want to use. It's a very strong ultimate, but I find that in the DPS meta, where there are a lot of strong DPS heroes, having the ultimate that makes you go invisible when you need to is is a lot more valuable in my opinion. So it is. Oh no way! I thought I dashed away in time. I misplayed that there. It is nice though to have the hollow burst for ego challenging like tanks, like that ruby there for example. I could have potentially killed her, but then you could also argue, oh, if I didn't use my explosion you know i wouldn't have gotten the kill in the first place but nonetheless we're gonna keep on popping this flank yeah. oh see how you can get out of situations like that let's go <laughs> They're playing hop the hopscotch over here, bro. I knew I was gonna be doing a catch the dash. That's so crazy. Like it's so annoying, bro. Aletta is so annoying, I'll be honest. Can I get a quick flank on this or no? Can. Wow, we get there in time. Hello Atomic? What are my screen? I was weaving with him, but missing all my shots. That's what happens when I, when I barely play. It always happens when I swap heroes like this, man. Swap to the SMG or swap to the shoddy. Out of there. That's why the ultimate is so useful, man. So useful. I'm telling you, this DPS meta, it does outplay the hollow burst. If the meta switches up, I think we'll go back to potentially using... Like, you're like, what? Oh, I'm that guy, right? We're not looking at anybody else. Bet, bet. <laughs> bet, bet, bet. I respect it. I'm out of there. I don't even need to try to fight her. It's all good. Oh, we got a double kill. You got a double kill? Look at you, Osiris. Pop off for your team then. I saw him walk in and I was like, no. As soon as I was getting ready to hit the dash, my man's there. One, two, where's Osas? Does that hit me while I'm invisible? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna make it a mission to find it, bro. Cause that's that's my that's the only guy that's killing me right now. I kill Osiris, we win the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm countering that the whole game, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guardian of the Galaxy, you're not one shot of me to the face, no way.
Jeet.